Good morning students, Walter here. Um, so this is the first major video. Uh, hi and welcome back from spring break. I've missed you all so much. I know this is a really different uh, change up, um, but we're going to make it through and it's going to be pretty awesome. So uh, today's video, um, please at the start of these videos give a like or a reaction. I'm trying to track attendance so that will let me know that you've uh, seen this footage. Alright, so today's video is going to be talking about uh, Zoom, how you're going to use it on Monday. It's going to be talking a little bit about Google Drives, uh, our timetable, and of course our new uh, classroom, online classroom rules. So number one, Zoom. I'm going to post a link later. Super easy to use. Uh, it does require a camera and a video um, audio piece. Uh, most of the laptops that people have borrowed from school will have both. If you're using it from a phone, just make sure your phone's plugged in. It will work, but it drains your battery pretty hard. Uh, with Zoom, there will be a link I'm going to share in Facebook. Once you get that link, uh, that's going to be the link you're going to use every single day until COVID-19 is over. Okay, so you're going to click the link. It'll instantly bring you into our classroom. All right, so there is, uh, first time you click the link, it is going to do a little bit of a download. Just click OK, everything's all good on that, and then you should be up to go. Um, when you join a Zoom classroom, please, please, please mute your mic, okay? Uh, make sure that it's muted. Uh, when you want to talk, unmute your mic, uh, but if everyone joins with their mics, it's going to create a lot of feedback and echo. Um, only really one person can talk at once without the mics causing some feedback. Uh, so we'll go over guidelines with that, but just make sure, log in, mute your mic, you're good to go. Uh, if you don't have video, again, if you can't get it working, I understand, we'll problem shoot that as it goes. Don't worry, as long as you can hear me and I can hear you, we're good. Uh, the next thing is Google Drive. So you're going to need your Google Drive account, so you need a Google email. Get your parents to set you up one um, if you're not over 16. If you are over 16, set up your uh, Gmail account. Uh, send me an email, teacherwolter at gmail.com, uh, with your new uh, Gmail account or the Gmail account you'd like to use. I'm going to send you a group share document. All right. Um, next thing, uh, basically you need to check Facebook every single day, specifically this page, uh, just to see what I have outlined for you guys. There might be some videos, um, there might be some links for you to explore, so just make sure you're checking in. Um, as a little side note, I can't add anyone to Facebook who is a minor. Um, I'm not going to add you on my personal account. Please just use the Facebook page. I love you all so much, uh, and I really miss you guys, but unfortunately, just for privacy, um, we can just communicate on this page or via messenger, uh, just not on my personal page, okay? Uh, and I won't communicate to you on your personal pages or anything like that. It's just going to be through the uh, group page. Um, okay, that's about it for the big things. Uh, I would say right now uh, we're looking pretty good for a start of Monday. So I'm going to go over the timetable with you guys. So let me just call it up here. I'm going to post these onto our school um, page here and then you'll be able to uh, see what's happening. So it's looking different than what we had before uh, and things are going to get adjusted. So this is just a timetable for this week. Okay. Uh, I want to add more. I want to do more, but we're going to start slow because I know there's going to be some tech issues. So this week, Monday to Friday, you're expected to be in class. Um, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., uh, we're going to be doing, uh, it, it's going to be like an open block for everyone. I'm going to be on Zoom right at 8.55 a.m., okay? So the Zoom link will be active. I'll be a participant in the Zoom uh, call at 8.55 a.m. So you have from 9 until 10 this whole first week uh, time to check in with Facebook, get familiarized with Google Drives, um, figure out Zoom, uh, get in there a little bit before class, make sure everything's downloaded and good to go. Um, and then if you have any questions, it's going to be an open talk time. So if there's any questions, concerns, uh, you're a little bit nervous about what's happening, 9 to 10 is going to be our rough time to just chill, find out what's going on. I can problem shoot some stuff if you guys are having issues. 
Uh, at about 9.55, though, I'm going to start um, muting everyone, and we're going to get into, at 10 a.m., our socials 8-9. If you aren't in socials 8-9, I'll ask you kindly, please get off the call for a little bit, or if you want to join, cool, you just have to remain muted. Um, and so for the 8-9 students, you'll be in uh, your socials class from 10 a.m. to 11. I've switched everything to online. Uh, I was thinking about doing paperwork, but then I thought, you know, with uh, COVID-19, we don't know how long it stays on surfaces. I don't want to get you guys sick, um, so I don't want to be handing out paperwork or collecting paperwork. So we're just going to use online submission for everything, okay? Um, so don't worry about paperwork. Don't worry about printing. It's all going to be on Google Drives. Uh, then, uh, after you finish socials, I'll have the PowerPoints up there. Anything that you need to download for it is going to be mentioned on the Facebook page. Uh, after that, we have uh, the eight nines are going to go with Miss Andrew and I need to check in with my older kids. We have a lot of graduation requirements to get accomplished, so grades 10 to 12, if you could please join me from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., we need to talk a little bit about what are we going to do to make sure that you're hitting all your graduation requirements. From 12 to 1, it's a lunch. I'm going to be online if you guys just want to talk, share spring break stories, stuff like that. Um, and I'll be sitting at the computer. I do recommend you guys go out, get away from the screens for a little bit, have a nice lunch, come back to me after. 1 o'clock to 2, it's going to be a creative time. So uh, during this time, we're going to have Readers Theatre. Harmony is going to be joining me for that. Uh, we're going to do some simple crafts that we can do at home. So drawing, uh, maybe I'm going to do a little bit of a survey on Monday, see where you guys are for supplies. We could do some painting. We might be able to do some hand sewing. Uh, so we're going to do our creative time. Um, and I want to update as we go, like maybe we do a, a Readers Theatre. Maybe we do a group video together. Um, maybe we do some online stuff I can show you how to do some website coding and stuff like that. So first week, we're just going to take it slow. You guys tell me uh, what's something you really want to know. And also um, keep in mind supplies. Uh, so if there's something where you really want to learn something, you know, we might take a few days just to get the program or the supplies out to you. So start journaling something that you might want to do during this time. And then finally, from 2 to 3, I have the older guys, 10, 11, 12, for socials. Uh, so if you were in socials with me before spring break, you're logging on to socials with me again from 2 to 3. Uh, and I'll stay online until 3.30 for anyone wants to drop in for extra homework help, stuff like that. So this first week, we're starting slow. Okay, so don't panic, don't worry about marks. Um, it's basically getting us back into a different routine and finding out what we need, where we want to go, um, what everyone is comfortable with doing. Okay, it's going to change, so the timetable I'm posting today is going to change for next week. So just keep an eye on that. And finally, the boring part. Okay, so guidelines and rules because, you know, we need to have them. Be safe. Uh, we don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So guidelines and rules. All right. So um, first of all, <laughs> rule number one, wear pants. Uh, it could be PJ pants. You could wear a costume. You could cosplay every single day if you wanted to. Uh, just make sure it's PG and that you're wearing, you're wearing clothes, okay? Um, if you're wearing an entire blanket ensemble, cool. Just make sure that everything's covered up. All right. I know sometimes when we're talking in our own homes, um, there's some things that, you know, we might not really think about because we're not used to having a camera uh, connected. So just keep that in mind. Um, honesty is the best policy. Uh, if you need help with homework or if you need help with anything, please let me know right away. Um, don't don't hide it. Don't have a parent do your homework for you. Just say, hey, I'm struggling with this concept. Give me some help here. Um, again, at the end of the day, uh, how you're going to do next year depends on how uh, we work together in this time to make sure that you have all those skills necessary to go to the next grade. So, you know, don't try to hide it. We're here to help, right? Um, the big thing is I'm still taking attendance. Uh, don't miss class. I'm going to be looking at your individual Zoom profile. So when I see your face or when I see your name, I'm going to take a uh, mark for attendance. Uh, and also I'll be checking that you guys are liking or at least reacting or commenting to the posts on Facebook for your daily attendance. So still counts. Um, the other big thing is I know the first week I'm relaxing this rule, but as we get um, 
further along, we need to be really mindful of not being late to class. Uh, when you log in, it does make a little sound. Uh, and that can be really distracting for other people. So if you have a um, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. meeting uh, with your class, make sure you're getting there right on time that you're not, you know, logging in at 10, 15, because it can be a bit distracting. Um, if you need help, or if your parents need help, or if there's any tech issues, 9 to 3, all of the teachers are available. I'm available 9 to 3 uh, the entire week, okay? Um, I'll stay, uh, first week I'll be staying later until 3.30 and then I, we might do some after school stuff too. I'll let you know as it goes, but please, please, please reach out. Uh, my cell phone number, and I'll post it online too, is 778-363-0135. That's 778-363-0135. If your internet goes down, if your computer is bombing, if something happens and you can't get a hold of me digitally, please give me a phone call. Um, oh, again, always mute your mic if you're not talking. Uh, okay, the other thing is if you're using the video call, now have a good example. Unfortunately, Ryan and me are both working from home right now, so you're going to see him walking kind of back and forth. Uh, this is our office space. This is where the Wi-Fi is strongest for us, and uh, you know, it's more professional. We don't want to be working from our bedroom. Um, so uh, this is our only area, okay? We've tried to keep it as distraction-free as possible, and that's what I ask of you guys, is pick an area in your house which is as distraction-free as possible so that you can really focus on your lessons and people aren't looking in your video being like, hey, what's that over there? Okay, so um, yeah, I have pets in the back. It's going to be a little bit hectic. Um, we're going to try to uh, switch on and off with video so that Ryan's not uh, talking at the same time I am. Um, but yeah, this is just our space and we'll keep it as distraction-free as possible. Possible if you guys also want to make sure that you're as distraction free as possible. I don't mind if you guys are eating or um, doing all of that, just, you know, something that's not too visually distracting for your fellow students. Um, finally, if you uh, were in a Zoom call and you want to get my attention, raise your hand, okay, and then unmute yourself once I say your name. Uh, if everyone tries to unmute themselves and talk at once, again, it's going to get a lot of mic feedback. We don't want to have that happen. And uh, keep an eye on your deadlines. I'm going to be posting them to Facebook as well. Uh, there still is homework. There still is assignments. Nothing's coming out this week. Don't worry. But in the future, you will still have normal everyday assignments. And uh, the biggest one, be calm and carry on, okay? There's nothing we can't fix. There's nothing we can't make happen. If it's not happening all at once or if there's little problems, take a deep breath. We're going to get through it together. Okay, um, I'm new to this. You guys are new to this. Uh, a lot of the teaching staff were trying really hard to get this to work and to make it uh, meaningful. Um, but there's going to be issues, and we know that. So deep breath. We'll get through it together. But please reach out. If there's something that you're not understanding, you're not getting, you're having trouble with, connection is an issue, uh, we're here for that. Okay, you have my phone number. You have my email reach out. Uh, also reach out to a parent. Uh, maybe it's just something where they need to restart the Wi-Fi, hit the router button, something like that. Um, don't just sit there wondering, oh, oh, I'm logged off. I, I don't know what to do. You know what to do. You have the skills. Okay. You guys are incredibly amazing. I know how much you can do all on your own when you're in my class. So I expect the same at home. You guys are got this. Um, okay. And uh, finally, my tips uh, for working online, make sure you are somewhere where uh, you can look away from the screen ever so often. You're going to get a really bad headache if we're on here 24-7. I know I've been getting headaches all week uh, as I've been having meetings with the teachers. Make sure that you are looking away, you're taking visual breaks, uh, you're looking around the room, right? Uh, you can listen without having to stare directly at the screen. Um, and if you are in class, if you are one of my older students and you might be uh, not next week but the week after in class with me for about four hours that's a lot of screen time maybe make sure to go for a hike instead of putting on more screen time with a video game after school okay um try and find some headphones if you can uh they're not really necessary they just sometimes make it a little bit easier if you're in a room with a lot of distractions uh 
big thing is uh, you still have to do PE. Miss Andrew Q is going to be talking you through that, uh, what that looks like. It's going to be very different. It's going to be a lot of outdoor education. Um, but yeah, we want you to keep healthy and uh, just remember that if you are, if I do say, hey, it's lunchtime, go out for a break, you're still keeping social distance, okay? So that means not running over to a friend's house or going down the street with that kid who lives like, you know, five houses down and going for a walk. Uh, just make sure you're, uh, you're keeping that safe distance, right? You don't want to spread the virus. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, pff, read books, stay creative, set up your own little study space, and let's have some fun with this. So, okay, that was a long video, lots of talking. I'm going to be quiet now. I really miss you guys. Um, I missed you all over spring break, and I was really excited to get back to work, and then when we found out we couldn't, I was really sad. But I think um, next week, seeing you guys all, this is going to be amazing. Uh, yeah, share a spring break story in the comments if you want to. If not, you can tell me on Monday. Um, on the weekends, though, and this is my last final point, I want you guys to take time for yourselves. I want you to practice self-care. Okay, so self-care could be taking a long bubble bath or reading a book that you really want to read, playing a video game for a reasonable amount of time, but something that is 100% just for you and makes you feel good. Okay, stressful times. I get it. Everyone's going through it. Um, don't worry about your homework or your marks or contacting or um, trying to get caught up on a reading assignment during the weekend. I need you to take care of yourselves. We all need to take, uh, you know, be healthy and take care of ourselves and not let that stress get too much. Okay, so on the weekends, I want you to take a huge deep breath and just prepare yourself for the week ahead by giving yourself some love. Okay. And uh, if you need anything, though, I'll still be available. But weekends are for you. Okay. We're going to be doing so much on the screen. I don't want you guys getting overwhelmed. Sound good? All right. So I will see you guys Monday. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, Monday, 8.55, uh, start checking the Facebook page. And if you're having technical issues, again, my number is 778-363-0135. All right, have a great afternoon, and I will see you later.